subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Salesforce Platform Developer 1. So let's get started. Question number 1, which statement results in an Apex compiler error? Your options are. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 2, what are two benefits of the Lightning Component Framework? Choose two. Your options are. A. It simplifies complexity when building pages, but not applications. B. It provides an event-driven architecture for better decoupling between components. C. It promotes faster development using out-of-box components, that are suitable for desktop and mobile devices. D. It allows faster PDF generation with Lightning components. The correct answers are, option B, and C. Question number 3. A method is passed a list of generic S objects as a parameter. What should the developer do to determine which object type, account, lead, or contact, for example, to cast each S object? Your options are A. Use the first three characters of the S object ID to determine the S object type. B. Use the gets object type method on each generic S object to retrieve the S object token. C. Use the gets object name method on the S object class to get the S object name. D. Use a try catch construct to cast the S object into one of the three S object types. The correct answer is option B. Question number 4. What should a developer use to implement an automatic approval process submission for cases? Your options are A. An assignment rule B. Scheduled Apex C. Process Builder D. A workflow rule The correct answer is, option C. Question number 5. When viewing a quote, the sales representative wants to easily see how many discounted items are included in the quote line items. What should a developer do to meet this requirement? Your options are A. Create a trigger on the quote object that queries the quantity field on discounted quote line items. B. Create a workflow rule on the quote line item object that updates a field on the parent quote when the item is discounted. C. Create a rollup summary field on the quote object that performs a sum on the quote line item quantity field, filtered for only discounted quote line items. D. Create a formula field on the quote object that performs a sum on the quote line item quantity field, filtered for only discounted quote line items. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 6. A developer wants to get access to the standard price book in the org, while writing a test class that covers an opportunity line item trigger. Which method allows access to the price book? Your options are. A. Use the following to get the standard price book ID. B. Use the following and delete the existing standard price book. C. Use the following and a static resource to load a standard price book. D. Use the following to allow the test method to see the standard price book. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 7. Which two Apex data types can be used to reference a Salesforce record ID dynamically? Choose two. Your options are A. Enum B. S. Object C. External ID D. String The correct answers are, option A, and D. Question number 8, where can a developer identify the time taken by each process in a transaction, using Developer Console Log Inspector? Your options are A. Performance Tree Tab Under Stack Tree Panel B. Execution Tree Tab Under Stack Tree Panel C. Timeline tab under Execution Overview Panel D. Save Order tab under Execution Overview Panel The correct answer is, option C. Question number 9, which two platform features align to the controller portion of MVC architecture? Choose two. Your options are A. Process Builder Actions B. Workflow Rules C. Standard Objects D. Date Fields the correct options are, option A, and B. Question number 10, a developer needs to test an invoicing system integration. 
After reviewing the number of transactions required for the test, the developer estimates that the test data will total about 2 GB of data storage. Production data is not required for the integration testing. Which two environments meet the requirements for testing? Choose two. Your options are A. Developer Sandbox B. Full Sandbox C. Developer Edition D. Partial Sandbox The correct answers are Option B and D. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.